Vietnam has been locked down. Over two months of being stuck inside. Citywide closure. The city was dead. There was very few motorbikes or traffic outside. And on a typical night like this in Ho Chi Minh, especially on a Saturday, the streets are buzzing. It was only 10 p.m. People are still driving around, even getting coffee. Nobody really wanted to go outside because of all the spread. Let's step back a bit. So I arrived in Vietnam four months ago. I moved from Thailand, got the flight to Singapore, and from Singapore, headed into quarantine, stuck out 14 days in quarantine, came out, and it was heaven. Everything was open, people were still living their normal day lives, and it was great. I spoke to a friend and I said, In Thailand it was so chill, I could like work on my videos, but here I'm like running around, a lot of people to see, a lot of drinks, a lot of food. It's crazy mate, it's fucking crazy. I was doing lots of things, design workshops, meeting up with friends, going drinking, exploring, eating, having a whale of a time. But then, boom, Directive 15. Only the necessities were open. You're mostly stuck at home ordering takeout. So really it's about entertaining yourself at home. What can you do when you're indoors? Maybe you might upgrade the setup. If you haven't seen the video, here's my setup. It's pretty minimal. Pens, notepad, laptop, speaker, microphone, wireless charger, nothing out of the ordinary. And I'm still working from a laptop. So I just order something which is gonna make the design and editing workflow much better. I'm waiting for the delivery and the guy said it's gonna be 45 minutes. Oof. But it's actually raining outside. Hopefully, if they deliver it on a bike, which they probably will, it won't get soaked. Uh, I'm just so excited for it. Oh, come on. I've been reluctant to buy this since I've moved into the apartment, just because it's quite expensive. Didn't really need it. But, fuck it, it's my birthday, tomorrow. This is basically an early birthday present to myself. I know I'm unemployed, but sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Plus, I'm gonna write it off as a work expense, but I don't have a job. How does that work? Where's this motherfucker? Hello? Okay, he's here. Yes, uh, are you downstairs? Let's go! Okay, let's run and get it. Alright, here it is. Let's unbox this bad boy, shall we? So here's everything it comes with. Base plate, then you have a bunch of power cables, HDMI, USB-C, the power brick of course, the stand, then the screws. Why do you need this? Oh my, who has a CD drive these days for a manual? So turns out that this gap is pretty wide, which means that I need to move these up to here so we can have a smaller table gap. I didn't think I had any tools. However, I have a skate tool that comes with a screwy head. All right, skate tools for life. We've been through this before. What do you do when you're at home? Maybe you might revisit the podcast that you were doing. This is my podcast setup. I haven't done a podcast or even a video in a long time. A series of five different episodes on the same topic and hopefully bang it out tonight in three hours. Some crazy life shit happened. I'm gonna get some drinks. Uh, I need a bit of lubrication for this one because um, some mad shit went down. And then boom, Directive 16. The highest alert Ho Chi Minh has been because of the spread of cases. Closures of almost everything. Everybody suggested to work from home, but I was lucky, I had a distraction 
It's 7.30 and I've had three hours sleep. Ahead of me is a two day workshop. The official name is Advisory Learning Series CIW Level 300. So what does that mean? It's Amazon's effort to train facilitators to help them with their partner businesses. We're gonna be trained in their customer innovation techniques. I have the agenda, but I still don't really know what to expect in terms of how they're gonna run it. Some things are familiar, some things are not. Oh, I think I need some coffee. Before any long day in front of the computer, especially in a workshop setting, you want to get ready. So you need to prepare your table and there's a few things that I like to prepare. Of course, we have our coffee, some form of other drink. Here I've opted for some tea and some water. I have my notepad because you're going to be taking lots of notes. It's better to actually do physical notes rather than digital. You need your phone there just in case. Also to have some sweets on the table just for that sugar boost and you need your microphone for that crispy crispy audio. Some more snacks I have here. Oreos and some other bickies. All designers love post-it notes and I am the same you gotta have your headphones and of course the main event which is the two screens you definitely need a webcam that's the man this is the digital whiteboard if you're familiar with workshops this is a must-have for remote workshops we're using mural here so let's get started with the day <laughs> Today, uh, we spoke about customer validation. Overall went well. Started at eight and finished about half three. Uh, we have seven teams that we broke out. Of course, the slide design could be better, but you know, and I can see me actually not only being one of the facilitators for Amazon when they scale this to bigger teams of customers that they have, but also using this in some sort of context for my own side projects so day one completed let's get ready for day two all right 7 30 and today we're starting day two so lots to get through today covering the experiment part of the workshop how do you validate who your customers are let's zoom fast screen <coughs> noise My first one is you input problems into this magical machine and then some AI thing does this computation and it basically tells you what the solution is, right? So input problems, output solution. All done. Finished the two day workshop. Just need to give the feedback on the survey. Uh, overall, I would recommend it to anybody looking to get into the field of innovation so working backwards is sort of like design thinking but in different orders it's a lot of different naming conventions but people who have done design thinking before will understand the working backwards framework from amazon definitely i'll use some of the tools i only retained like 30 percent of the information probably less but putting it to practice will be the real test all right day two done boom you advise to only go out for grocery shopping. Like for someone like me, who hasn't cooked in such a long time, it was a bit hard. One of the benefits of living in Asia is actually you never need to cook. It's cheap enough for you to actually get takeaway pretty much every night, unless you're in a pandemic and the government decides Directive 16, it's all locked down. That means I have to get back into the kitchen not very happy about this. Another thing they added to prevent people going outside and doing all that stuff, they're doing fines. I mean, they're so strict. Anyway, fuck that shit. Let's make some food. I have to show my skills as a house husband. Shit. Mom 
Pickles of soup, A, B, C. Had a bit of accident. This is why I don't cook. But guess what? Spam. Yes. How do people not like spam? This is meat for champions. This is gonna save my life. Watch this shit go absolutely wild when I put the spam on. God damn it, it's popping. Shit is popping. Oh fuck, you got me right on the neck. It's sticking like a mother. Probably not a good idea, but at this point, it's getting quite golden brown. It only took me a few hours to make this shit. That's why people don't cook. It's long. Well, a little bit like that. Fucking yeah. Oh, look how, look how fucking crispy that looks. Crispy in my mouth. Let me know if you want me talking shit and cooking a bit more. Nobody wants to see this shit. Me talking like a cockney bastard. God, I'm hungry. It's fucking nine o'clock. It's way too much oil. But fuck it, innit? Pandemic. That was a poor break. Let's see if we can do it one handed. Nope. Okay. Look at that. Woo! Spamages. Whatchamacallit? Look at that soup. It's proper bubs. I want to burn myself, aren't I? Tastes like nothing. Tastes like water. So tomorrow I'm making Japanese curry. I think I'm ready to eat, man. The spam. The sad ass asparagus I cooked in the rice cooker. It's so overcooked. It's terrible. And it's got bits of rice all over it. Yum. We have the rice. The staple. I think I put too much water in it. It's a little bit fluffy. Anyway, this is how glamorous it gets in the fucking lockdown, man. Yep, so welcome to uh, Cockney Chris, the cooking champion. That's it. I'm gonna enjoy a meal and uh, you guys can... F I haven't had a haircut in so long. Look, look at this terrible... This t I've got like an afro. So my landlord just texted me and he was like, hey, do you want a haircut? Because I'm getting one later. During lockdown, Directive 16, strictest lockdown we've had. I just got a barber to come to my place. Probably, probably need to clean this up a little bit, but awesome, man. Fast forward to today. We're day eight in the Directive 16 lockdown. So we have been indoors, I would say, maybe 95% of the time, about two months. And during those two months, it has been up and down in terms of creativity and motivation. I've still been working on my own projects, but I don't know what it is. I think it's the psychological effects of being locked down. And the whole world has been through this. Other countries have done six to nine months lockdown, and that must be really, really hard. For you to go in and out of lockdown, I think that's much more disruptive because you think everything is okay and then not, and then okay. New variants coming out, booster vaccines are under experimentation. There's just a lot of uncertainty in the world at the moment. So I think that's how it really affected me in terms of not knowing what's happening, you know, getting through it like everybody else. So this is another way to keep me busy during literally don't go out, otherwise you'll die period of my life. Yeah, so making something like this is a good distraction from just all the craziness that's out there and in here. And this is probably one of the easiest videos you can make where you're just talking to a camera and you're just taking random shots anywhere. It's a vlog, there's not much point apart from Stay strong and see you on the next one. What you doing? What you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, you got plans. You got plans. Don't say that. Shut your trap. I'm sleeping wine. Ship, ship. In a row. Drip, dip. I look too good. Look too good. To be alone. Ooh, ooh. My house clean. House clean. My pool warm. Pool warm. Just shave. Smooth like a newborn. We should be dancing, romancing in the east wing and the west wing of this mansion. What's happening? I am playing no games and what did I say? They come straight from the heart So if you try to lay in these arms I'm a leave that open I'm a leave the door open I'm a leave that open girl I'm a leave the door open Open. That you feel that I feel And you want me like I want you tonight, baby
Take me that you're coming through.